hello guys my name is Charles Stanley from TS Tech Talk today uh, we are going to be discussing about Chromebooks uh, again and I'm going to be showing you guys how to pin your Chromebook application into um, your quick bar this area is called a quick bar area on the desktop but it's called a safe on your Chromebook so I'm going to be showing you guys how to add applications to be here for a quick access just in case um, you want it to be here and you want to easily access it and click on it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. And hopefully um, you guys you will learn two or three things from here. And uh, if you're having some challenges, I'll let me know. Just leave your comment below and then I'll fix that. Okay. Now, in order to do this, let's go ahead and open our launcher. Chromebook launcher, go ahead and click on it. It's right here. And then click on your drawbar to open more of the features. Now you can notice um, we have some applications here which you might want to access easily. For instance, the document, the sheets, the, um, the slides, and then your um, player. They are not here. They are not showing right here. I want to add them here and then remove some application which I don't find so interesting or so important. Now, in order to do that, let's just hover on the application which we want to. And also, um, I think um, Google Drive is also an important application. But first, let's start with our document first. Now, go ahead and um, hold your Alt key and then press on it. And then you can notice the option comes in. And then um, you can notice it say um, on pin from self. Um, I think it's already pinned, but I'm not seeing it right here. OK, sorry, um, it's already pinned. Sorry, so let's go on to, um, to our Google Drive. Now let's pin that down to our self. Now you can notice um it says pin to self, which is actually the option we want to select. Now go ahead and click on it. You can notice it's been pinned to self. It automatically reshuffles to um the right area which it should be. It actually arranged according to their alphabet, so it's alpha numeric. But you could actually um manipulate that later on after adding them. Now the next thing we should do is add our Chrome Web Store which is also an important application of use. Now let's go ahead and say pin to self. And um, let's also do this also, the Chrome keep um, on install pin to self. You can notice that I've been pinned to self. And then, um, so if you now want to, let's go ahead and go away from our launcher. Next thing, if you now want to rearrange this application into a proper way you want them or you want to remove um, an application from self, you could also hover on that particular application. For instance, the get help. I already know how to make use of my current application, so I won't be using this get help any longer. So I'm just going to remove it from self. In order to remove it, go ahead and click on your Alt key on your keyboard and then Y clicking on Y clicking on that particular application. So Alt key plus click. Now you can notice it says um, on pin auto self. Then I'm just going to say um, self position. No, I don't want it to change self position. So I'm just going to on pin. Now you can see it's been removed. And our camera is also very important. So I'm going to leave that at Google Plus. Um, I don't always really use Google Plus. So I'm just going to on pin it now. Click and then on pin. So now um, our camera is a bit on the area where we can see it. even um, our screencast also is on a location where we can easily see. So let me go ahead and right click and then see um, auto shelf. You can see it auto hides the shelf, but um, to bring it back, just go on and right click on it and then unhide it again so that it's going to be visible once more. Now, the next thing we do is just to change the positioning. Let's say we'll move it to the left. Now you can notice ourself is now on the left corner. And then um, I really am not comfortable with the left because it's looking weird. And uh, for some reason, I want it back to its position to the bottom. Now it's on the bottom. But actually, if you notice very well, this uh, screencast 
it's been like a camouflage of the background so it's not being that visible to people if the yellow one was here it's going to be visible to everybody if this one was here it's still going to be visible so let's move this one all the way from here to the next location so um in order to do that we are going to right click and then you know what let's just leave it the way it is and um, i think my mouse is not responding the way it should so uh, later on while i'm on mouse i'm going to show you guys how to do that but right now the main thing is just to show you guys how to click and add it to pin and which i've already done and if you're having any challenges doing this just let me know and then i'm going to fix that for you and also um I'll be making more tutorials on Chromebook later on. I'll be showing you guys how to create your um, better graphics, more graphics on your Chromebook, which I it took me time to discover. But after discovering this, it was worth it. And it's just like um, Corel Draw and every other Windows graphics software. So um, you guys should tune in once more for more Chromebooks video. And I'll be making more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Troy Stanley from TS Tech Talk. And I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. Um, please make sure you like and comment if you are watching this video. And to encourage me, please do share my video with your friends and encourage them to watch also. Thanks.